Um, I mean, one of the things about street fights are, uh, I mean, there is, you know, it's a great feeling to kick somebody's ass who has it coming. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I mean, years ago, I was probably 21, uh, Buddy and I were golfing. We had a golf cart, it was a small public course, and uh, some douchebag with no shirt and sunglasses just, you know, plays right through us and he's walking. And my buddy's like, hey, you can't do that, and the guy just ignored us. And uh, so we got up to the next tee, and this dickhead's in the fairway because he's fucking walking. And, uh, you know, it's, you're not supposed to drive the ball. And I was like, you know, fuck it. Fuck this guy. He shouldn't have played through us. And I drove the ball. And it probably landed 50 feet from him, but, you know, on a golf course, that's close. And uh, when I, we went after the balls, uh, he was standing there with my ball, like, in between his feet. And I said, hey, thanks for marking my ball. And he's like, yeah, you drive within 100 yards of me again, I'm going to wrap this fucking club around your head. And then walked away onto the next hole. And my buddy's like, I just let it go. And I'm like, all right, knee chips your shot, you know. And I'm like, no, oh, fuck it. I can't let that go. So I went to the next hole. And uh, I'm like, yes, I'm the same motherfucker. He's like, oh, you want some? And he's like, I'm going to get my nine in. I'm going to be waiting for you at the clubhouse and beat the shit out of you. <laughs> and I went over there and uh, he cocked the club back and I threw a right hand and I even know, I know I hit him twice, he was out on the first one, but I gave him, he went out on the second one and uh, my buddy's like laughing, he's like, I think we gotta get out of here, the guy's snoring, I was like, fuck him, and I kicked him, and people say it's a dick move, but whatever, fuck him, he needed something out of the deal, and when I kicked him, I like woke him up, he was like, wait, wait, he's all confused, like, what happened, what's your name, I'm, I'm calling the cops, and then left his clubs and ran to the clubhouse, so. Uh, yeah, he went from fucking badass to bitch and like one knockout punch. So, um, I mean, there's I have a million stupid stories. I, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I yeah, I, mean, I got in fights at fights. I mean, there was a fight one time. I was, uh, um, we were at the weigh-ins. It was at a you know sports bar, and I went to the bathroom, and um, a girl came out of her bathroom, and the bathroom was down this like narrow hallway. <laughs> And uh, there was a big old built, you know, dude standing there, like looking, reading something on the wall. And I'm like, I can't fucking squeeze past this guy. I mean, she beat me anyway, so it don't matter. But she's like, excuse me, and he totally ignored her. She's like, excuse me, and he just ignored her. But she was tiny, and she squeezed through. So he's obviously a dick, and uh, I'm not worried about him just he's big. I mean, that's why he's an asshole, because it's the way he looked. He's just an ass. And uh, so I'm like, well, I'll avoid the situation. I just sat there and read some posters on the wall. And I mean, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds, a minute passed by. And finally, I'm like, why the fuck am I this dickhead's prisoner? And I'm going to be held hostage in this hallway by this cocksucker. So I uh, politely was like, hey, excuse me, man. He ignored me. And I tried to scooch by him, but I was like, whatever. And I brushed him, and his arm went flying. He's like, hey, motherfucker. And like tried to push me, and I... Uh, yeah, I knocked that guy out one punch and left him snoring in the middle of the hallway. I don't think there was a camera there, but I left. wasn't going to find out.